Hola amigos, I'm Richard Gray, the science correspondent from The Telegraph. The Higgs boson is notoriously difficult to explain, but I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do that using this sombrero. First, I'm going to need to give you a bit of background. Around about 13.8 billion years ago, the Big Bang caused new particles to pop into existence. We're going to use this line to represent one of those particles. At this point in the early universe, particles had no mass at all. They whizzed around and everything was in perfect symmetry. So if we take this sombrero to represent an invisible energy field in the universe, then our particle would sit just on top of the hat and everything around it would look the same, perfectly symmetrical. However, as the universe cooled down, there would have no longer been the energy to keep our particle at the top of the hat and it would have fallen down into the brim. At this point, everything would have changed. The universe would have started to look asymmetrical and our particles would have started moving around and bumping into each other. So if things had stayed the same and our particle had continued to have no mass, it would have continued moving around without any problem at all. But this would have presented a problem because without mass, there can be no gravity. And without gravity, the planets would not have formed and we would not exist. Clearly we do exist, so there's something missing. And that is the Higgs boson. So this is where our salt comes in. If we pour the salt into the brim of our hat, what that starts to represent is an, is an energy field which has become known as the Higgs field. And what that will do is create drag on our particle. So our line won't be able to roll around quite as freely as it was. And that's exactly what the Higgs field does to particles. The more drag a particle has through the Higgs field, the greater its mass. The Higgs field itself is made up of lots of tiny particles represented by the grains of salt between my fingers. And it's these that are the Higgs bosons. Peter Higgs came up with this theory in 1964, and the Higgs boson was finally discovered just last year. And this is why he's won the Nobel Prize. So just as the Higgs boson is the missing element in our understanding of the universe, there's one missing ingredient in this rather tortuous Mexican analogy, and that's the tequila. Here's to Peter Higgs. Cheers.